walk on, guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Just be. goodness I live in Ontario Canada and for the past two weeks we've had negative degrees weather we're talking negative 15 11 12 it, it's brutal it's so cold and then a wind chill on top of it the great thing though is that I am working from home which is amazing I don't have to go driving in the snow or anything which is great but the bad thing is, is that because I'm working from home, it's really hard to get myself motivated to go outside and move around. On a whole, I do not like winter. I don't like the cold. I prefer fall and spring. Those are my two favorite seasons. Not too hot, not too cold. But I need to do something because all I'm doing is eating. Like I'm constantly eating. Like my fridge is just like, my fridge has had it with me. Like every time I go to my fridge, my fridge is like, Jacqueline, no, 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 Jacqueline, just, just, just leave because there's nothing new since the last time you were here five minutes ago. So what I've done is I've made a conscious decision that no matter how cold it is, I am going to go walking every day. It's going to be great. It's going to give me an opportunity to go and get fresh air to keep fit and it's good for my overall well-being because it's not good to just be working at home and feel like you're constantly in the house. Everything's locked down, there's no entertainment, there's no gathering. So now is a great time for you to either learn new things or create new habits. I do or die, I am going to start walking. The key is making sure that you have layers. Like yesterday, I tried walking to the bank. I couldn't do it. I would have been able to if I had the right gear, like some long johns and some basal layers underneath, but I didn't. I don't know what I was trying to prove, but it didn't quite work out for me. All right, enough talking. I have mail. I have a package here that I got from work, which I absolutely love. It made my day when I went to the mailbox and picked this up, so I decided to come on and share that. I've already opened the package, but nonetheless, I'm gonna share it anyways. And then next, I have a box here from Softmock. Let me start with my Softmock package. box I have another box there my receipt they have a really good return policy I'm eligible for a full refund up to 75 days from purchase or up to 90 days for an exchange for a different item or to get a store credit. I really do enjoy shopping in stores that have a good return policy. Here's my other box. Wow, they went all out with the packaging. Paper kind of reminds me of Christmas paper. Winter boots guaranteed to be waterproof. They better be waterproof or else I'm gonna be really pissed off. I have the black ones with the tan bottoms. I've got some Sherpa here in beige. And right here, a burgundy red color. It feels like a knitted material. These boots are guaranteed to resist leaks for a period of six months from the date of purchase. So I hope that's the case. I'm gonna in a size 10. Just undo the lace. Lining inside feels like fleece, really cozy. The 
other part is nylon and there's a cuff so you can wear it up. So if there's deep snow, you can just pull the boot up like that. Or if not, you could just cuff them. Really cute. The ribbed material doesn't cuff. The name of these boots is called the Cougar Creek Lace Up Women's Boots. It's a nice sporty style. They're made of nylon and the nylon portion of the boots are waterproof. It's got a slip resistant sole, which is gonna be so ideal because when the temperature drops in Ontario, it's all ice on the sidewalk and it's not safe. The boots are guaranteed to keep your feet warm up to minus 24, which is in line with approximately what our weather has been like lately. They call the lining polar plush. It feels like fleece. It feels really cozy. gratitude journal that I got from work. I'm just going to read what it says inside. How to use your 2021 gratitude journal. Can you easily recall what you're most grateful for on any given day? By habitually practicing gratitude, you'll feel less stress, a greater sense of calm, and better mental clarity. Remembering reasons to feel grateful can be challenging. So that's why this year we are giving you this 2021 gratitude journal to help you to cultivate a positive mindset. Each monthly spread focuses on a different wellness theme to enrich your outlook on life. We encourage you to take the time and use the interactive prompts designed to inspire an attitude of gratitude. As we navigate this coming year together, we hope this gratitude journal not only helps improve your overall well-being, but also becomes a continuing source of inspiration and positivity. And then it's got a blurb from a poet called Amy Collette, and that reads, gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness. It's a spark that lights a fire of joy in your soul. I just love that. This is awesome. I will be making a conscious effort to use my gratitude journal monthly and document everything. I'm gonna leave you guys with a question. What are you grateful for? Comment down below and let me know. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next one.